Butland Athletic. Most footballers, you know, dream about playing at Wembley, but for the players of the South Devon Club, Butland Athletic, well, they can turn that dream into a reality. They're at Bromsgrove Sporting on Sunday. A win there, and they would be one step nearer to playing on the Hallow turf. If success breeds success, Buckland Athletic are destined for big things this season. Ellis Lake knows what it's like to win an FA Bars. The Buckland boss scored for Taunton in the 2001 final against Burke Hampstead. That match was played at Villa Park because Wembley at the time was being redeveloped. Missing out on playing in northwest London was slightly annoying, but scoring more than made up for it. Well, obviously it was a disappointment, wasn't it, at Wembley, where everyone wants to play at Wembley, don't they? But I'm a Villa fan, it was at Villa Park, the, the day turned out great for me. I've stood on the whole turn, I've now scored on the whole turn, um, you know, and we won the cup, I got man of the match, it was, it was written for me, I think. Buckland won't lack confidence going into Sunday's match. They've won their last 14 games and haven't lost a match since October the 15th last year. The club was only formed in 1977, as a youth team in Newton Abbott. But in 40 years, they've managed to build themselves an impressive clubhouse and own their ground. The luckiest thing of all is we've got such a large band of volunteers willing to do things for nothing, i.e. the clubhouse was built mostly with our own labour, uh, the grandstand, and all the bits and pieces you can see around the place. All right, we've had to apply for grants and one thing or another to fund these things, but the work have all been built by club members. So, uh, yes, it is a, it's been a long journey, and I never dreamt when I first joined that we'd be in where we are today now. I must, I must say, it, it brings a lump to my throat, yeah. This will be Buckland's fourth game in five this season that they have been drawn away, but they're guaranteed a home tie if they make it through because the semi-finals are over two legs. They've already picked up £7,700 in prize money from their cup run, which is a massive amount at this level. We have to worry about training facilities. You know, we don't have all the best equipment. Um, you've got lads that are working during the day that might not be able to make it in the evening. You know, they've got their, you know, their, their, their kids, they might need dropping to dancing or certain, you know, certain stuff. You know, there's all, there's all you know, you, you're juggling lots of other, other, other things that might come into, into play. If Buckland win, playing at Wembley will be in touching distance. Their manager has shown he can perform on the big stage. Now he's hoping his players will follow suit. Jeff Welsh, ITV News, Buckland Athletic Football Club, Newton Abbott.